Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Yes, it is the first of the Grey Knight reviews, excluding the Dreadnought. Grey Knight's Castilian Crow. Crow, crow, crow. Looks pretty cool. He came today and I've had to wait ugh, so many hours before I actually get a chance to make this video. And I've been biting at the bit, chomping at the bit to get him in my sticky hands. I've taken the cellophane off, but I've not looked inside yet. Looks really nice, I have to say. When this was first sort of shown, I was like, yeah, this looks good. As all the Grey Knights do. Now, the Grey Knights are due uh, maybe second week, third week, December. To start being shipped out, I believe, to suppliers and whatnot. And if you're in China like me, you should be getting yours slightly earlier. Looks really cool. See, he's got the a nice cloak, the banner... Uh, his backpacks, helmeted head, the sword, the hands, and the uh, effect for the sword. Looks very, very cool. Not much else to see there. Okay, so let me have a quick look inside while we're on camera. If you like this sort of content, please do consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen now. Because uh, you get a chance to win Joy Toy Prizes. In fact, the winner from two Sundays ago which was when, ugh, still November, um, they actually won this and the other Grey Knights, uh, which will be sent to him in Romania when they are released. Looks really cool. Bit of a glare there. Well, it does look nice. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, so let me unbox this, set it up, and let's get into this. Here he is. And i got to say, he does look fantastic. Though I do have a couple of tiny gripes uh, with it. Uh, one being new uh, for Joy to Others, I think, are just pre-existing ones. Okay, so before we look at him, let's have a quick look at uh, what he comes with. Uh, ad additional to what you see there. So the usual four hands, additional hands that we see with Body 2.0. So we have the uh, pointing hand for the... Uh, uh, left hand with the two fingers. We have the gripping hand, not a gun hand, for the right. We have a fist for the left. And we have an open hand for the left too. Which is pretty good for him because he's got this uh, book you can see which I've attached there. Uh, he also comes with the unhelmeted head. And to be honest, it's not my favourite Joy Toy unhelmeted head. It, maybe it's the paintwork. just looks a bit too... Yeah. But it'll look good on him, I'm sure. I'll probably swap that around a bit later. Probably, maybe not. And interestingly, you'll see that his head comes with its own barbell. So you've got one for the helmeted head that's on his body and a separate one in the head there, which is pretty cool. Let's get a close look at him here. Oh, I did forgot to forget to show something. He also comes with a flame effect or dark flame effect for his sword. So this is the book that just dropped off, chained up, very, very nice. One of my grumps is, you know, you can't attach this nicely and impose him because it's going to drop off, you know, if you move his legs. So close look at him here. Head sculpt, particularly nice. The gun looks great, but these are no way near indented enough. Come on. Uh, my main grump, look at his waist. It's too loose, you know. It's just a bit loose, his waist joint, way too loose for my liking. He looks great. The, the silver armor for these Grey Knights looks fantastic. Got his name on in case he forgets. Guardian Eternal. Uh, well, thanks for that. Looks pretty good. All these little details. The cloak does have loads of weight to his back, along with the banner and his backpack. So it's quite difficult to stand him up for some poses. Redemption Sword. Annihilate. I'm not sure if I like that sword being bent and going around his armor there but i understand why it looks a bit strange um other side and then the cloak pretty nice feature where it's folded over into the detail on the other side the back of the banner there and the seals like this very very nice so the thing i don't like you see this waist of his does not feel stiff enough and let me just make sure it is pushed in properly it is the other joints joint though do seem to be fine and then that gun, that indentation, that's just like, yeah, you could have, you know, almost tempted myself to just drill it, zip, zip, and make it look better. Because the other ones are indented further and look far better than that. Uh, but what's nice is that gun is actually around the arm. It's not part of the arm. 
So you can move it separately or if you wanted to, you could take it off by just popping his hand out and then taking it off. And you could unplug the gun from his back as well. So then you're going to have a completely gun arm or gun free figure, which would be quite nice. Okay, so he looks really quite cool. And then with the flame effect, it's very nice. It just fits on. Just zoom out a little bit. It just fits on top. Let's get this right. Which way around is it that way? Like so. And it does look like it's it does look like it's part of the sword. So it's very nicely done by by uh Joy Toy there. Well done guys. Okay, um articulation. So top to bottom the backpack, the nozzles are stiff, but they do have some turn. The top will probably turn as well, actually, I'd imagine. But I don't want to try. Let's not try that one. Uh head, it's got a left and right, it's got a side to side, it's got a small forward to backwards. Actually, better than I thought small to backwards. Shoulders, we can have our issues again. So his arm will go all the way around. This one is on a ratchet to the side. Yeah. I mean, that's it. That seems to be worse than some of the other ones. Much any more than that, I'm going to pop it out of joints. That's really quite bad. Bicep joint is really good. Over 90, because his bulk, that is fantastic. There is the bicep swivel, which I keep forgetting to mention. Fantastic wrist articulation with the double barbell joint, which is my favorite joint for wrists. Um, he has trunk, left to right, side to side, forwards, backwards. He does have a separate waist for turning and also side to side, forwards, backwards. So together, forwards is actually pretty damn good. And then backwards is going to be ridiculously good. Side is pretty good, side is pretty good, and the turn together is fantastic. Legs, loads of sculpting of things to get in the way, so only this far apart on the hips. Forwards, the same thing, not very far on the forwards, but actually really damn good on the backwards. Has to be said. There's a thigh twist, there's a double kneecap. It gets tighter than 90 degrees, but that ugly sort of knee if you do that. Um, boot turn, small tippy toe, there's a Dorsey flexation. This is a barbell joint again. It's a side to side, and you've got the toe. And I said in my previous videos, and if you've not seen it, if you want to get the best articulation of the toes, you push forwards, then back for tippy toe, and then you push uh, backwards and up for dorsi flexation. Otherwise, this will catch onto the back there. Very, very nice. Okay, uh, let me just quickly see how easy, oh, that is not easy, to swap his head around because you've got that part in the way there. Um, I would be tempted not to hot water treat him, but to get some pliers and gently ply it out. Actually, and the best way to do this would be with scissors, I kid you not. Underneath, and this tilt like that, should get off quite easily, which I've done previously on some of these stiff ones. So let me just quickly get a pair of scissors and try that now. Scissors in hand, so what I mean is, go underneath, or you don't chop anything. Either side of the head, and you can just tilt up like that. That does want to come, but not easily, okay. So the scissors was wrong. <sighs> I'll use it this way, and that should be easier, there we go. I might take that back. He is going to need hot water treatment if I'm going to take the head off. Because that <laughs> is super firm in place. So I shan't be doing that now since I have no hot water at the moment. I do, but only from a tap. And it's not the same as uh, having gas, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, let me just put him upright. Let's get a size check on him. So they said, I think it was, was it 12 in the back? To the top of his head is about 12, 12 and a bit. Top of the banner is going to be 22, approximately. Let's get a uh, size comparison. So I use my Invicta Warsuit Pilot, the Ultramarines, because he's on my desk all the time. Is my go-to for size comparison. Remember, his body wants to be slightly shorter, slightly smaller. And you see he's 
far chunkier than the Invicta Warsuit Pilot NEC's Tooler 2. If I use my Azura figure, who I viewed the other day, who's absolutely fantastic. I love the Azura line figures. They're just so different and so cool. And they are 118 scale, but their heads just seem a bit small for my liking, or small compared to other figures, I should say. Okay, let me get them standing up nice and straight first. So we get a more, what's the word I'm looking for? A better comparison for size. Okay, here we go. We just put his leg armor on. He's got these spikes on his back and they keep digging into me. Okay. Ah! And now I'm getting him to fall apart on me too much. Okay, that one's in. And push that one back in again. There we go. And he towers above that. If we get a, let me see. I'll get my Acid Rain, well, Nurinu Sentinel, one of the best 118 scale figures you can get, full stop. Fantastic all around figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he just makes him look tiny as well. Nurinu Sentinel, as much as I love you, you are going to lose this battle. I'm not sure your puny little gun could uh, pierce the armor unless you got super, super lucky. But this is a grey knight, so we must do a proper comparison. Something that is worthy of the grey knight's attention and wrath. So let me just put his uh, flaming effect back on his sword. Let's get a nice sort of pose going on here. That waist is too loose. Can he get a nice walking pose again? Pretty good, I have to say. It's not a bad pose. He is there. Let's zoom out. Let's come out backwards a little bit. Oops, sorry. Let's come upwards a little bit. And I think this is what he needs to uh, set him up for the day. Something worthy of his attention. <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks like it'd be a battle for the ages. That's a Diablo toy by Hero Toys. I'll stick that in the top right for you if you want to see that review and it is worth watching. It's a fantastic figure. Good start for the uh, Grey Knights. Just wish that waist wasn't so loose. I wish the head was looser, <laughs> easier to take off. And I wish they would sort the shoulders out with getting more articulation. But hopefully that will happen in the future. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys signing out, saying please like, share, subscribe. Again, please check out the Patreon. Costs nothing to have a look. And if you do join, there are three different tier memberships, and you can win prizes. We have weekly prize draws at the moment with, to win Joy Toy stuff, sponsored by Joy Toy themselves. Okay, smash that notification icon bell so you don't miss any videos when they're published, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.